Greetings citizens of the world. This is an important message from Anonymous. The government of China has put the lives of millions of people at risk, and may have already unleashed a deadly pandemic on the world. It is no secret that the Chinese government actively controls the flow of information going both in and out of their borders. This fact is so well known that we call it the Great Firewall of China. China has also become much more wealthy and influential over the years, which has allowed them to control how events in the country are covered in the rest of the world as well, as we saw with the coverage of the recent protests in Hong Kong. Now, this same censorship apparatus in China is working to suppress information about the spread of the deadly coronavirus and the conditions that are being seen inside the quarantined areas. Tens of millions of people in the country, possibly even more, have now been quarantined and ordered to not leave the region as fear of the outbreak is spreading, but it obvious that the government waited far too long before taking serious measures to contain the virus. Even now, the government is doing its best to downplay the severity of the situation by controlling the media statements and deleting any information from social media that contradicts their official claims. The official numbers from the Chinese government suggest that there have only been a few deaths and a few hundred confirmed cases, but videos and photo footage that have been sent to anonymous shows a far different situation unfolding within the quarantine zone. Footage taken from the contamination zones shows overcrowded hospitals filled with sick and concerned citizens, and other videos show a significant number of infected people dropping over the street. This is the type of footage that the Chinese government has been desperately trying to wipe from the internet. In fact, some Chinese citizens have even been arrested for spreading information about the virus. This is not unusual behavior for the Chinese government, as a very similar cover-up took place during the SARS outbreak nearly 20 years ago. SARS is also a coronavirus, but the new form seems to be more virulent and deadly, even though official statements have suggested otherwise. There are a variety of different reasons for a cover-up of this nature to take place. Perhaps it could be to prevent panic or avoid internationally imposed sanctions or quarantines, but some researchers have been raising questions about the origin of the illness, and suggesting that it could have escaped from a nearby biolab. Within the past few years, a new biolab tasked with studying the most dangerous pathogens on Earth began operating in Wuhan. The lab was officially working with different strains of coronavirus, as well as other deadly illnesses like Ebola, beginning in 2018. This lab is just 20 miles away from the Huanan seafood market where the first case of the coronavirus is believed to be transmitted. Since before the lab opened, scientists all over the world were voicing concerns about the potential dangers. An article was even published in the science journal Nature in 2017, detailing the plans for the lab and sharing expert opinions about how a dangerous bug could leak from the facility. In fact, the SARS virus has escaped from high-level containment facilities in Beijing multiple times. Oddly enough, just three months ago, a simulation of a global coronavirus pandemic illustrated that an outbreak of such an illness could take the lives of 65 million people. The simulation was conducted at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security, with participation from the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. It is far too early to tell exactly what is happening at this point, but Anonymous has been receiving tips from all over China about the severity of the outbreak and the cover-up that is taking place behind the scenes. To bring this important news to the world we must make enough noise to overcome the Great Firewall of China. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.